As we should now know, the first process is starting up a project. It's process, not stage, although in the real world that's a meaningless distinction. It's a pre-project. Its syllabus code is SU. It's manual chapter 12. It defines task and team. It examines relevant lessons and it sets up the initiation stages, plan and control regime. Another process, we might call it the second, is directing a project. It too is a collection of activities rather than part of a stage. It's syllabus code DP, it's manual chapter 13. Its activities direct a project and include all of the project board's decision-making actions. The third element is the initiation stage, which we have so far seen use two processes, the initiating a project process, syllabus code IP, and the managing stage boundaries process, syllabus code SB. IP is in chapter 13 of the manual as a process, and SB is in chapter 17 of the manual. It may be that the initiation stage is a sufficiently complicated stage that we want to use the controlling a stage and managing product delivery activities to control the internal operation of the initiation stage, in which case the initiation stage is now using four processes. After the initiation stage, there is one or more delivery stages in which the specialist work is carried out. Specialist work is carried out by team members possibly operating through team managers, managing product delivery, and using the three activities of the managing product delivery process to control on and report on their activity. It's syllabus code MP, and it interacts with the project manager using controlling a stage, syllabus code CS, as described in manual chapter 15. When we get to the end of a delivery stage, then we will either close the stage down by using managing stage boundaries. That's for all but the last stage of the project. Or we will close it down using the closing a project process, syllabus code CP, manual chapter 18. The first delivery stage may in fact be the last delivery stage, in which case we'll use managing stage boundaries once at the end of the initiation stage. That will take us into the first and last delivery stage, which will then use closing a project to close it down. There is much detail that we need to add to move this picture towards being complete.